Are you tired of asking GPT to generate content one piece at a time? Do you find yourself creating summaries, articles, or any other text for hundreds or even thousands of documents? If so, then this is the video for you. Generating GPT content in bulk can be done efficiently in one go thanks to Billship. Billship is an AI-powered low-code visual backend builder, and it's a great choice for building powerful APIs, scheduled tasks, cloud functions, and much more. In this video, we'll see how easy it is to build a fully completed API for generating GPT content in bulk without having to write a single line of code. Our use case involves a CSV file filled with the world's most popular travel destinations. For each of these cities, we'll generate a detailed three-day travel itinerary using GPT-4. Let's get started. Billship is packed with tons of templates to help you quickly get started building your own backend. Simply find a template that aligns with your project requirements, select it, and make it yours. To begin, we'll select the GBT bulk generation template. This template will set up a fully complete workflow for us that we can ship right away and start using. But before we do that, we'll quickly go through each node in this workflow so you have a solid understanding of how it works and more importantly, how you can add your own customizations. Every Billship workflow starts with a trigger. Here we're using the REST API call trigger. And after we ship this workflow, this will give us an API endpoint that we can use to call the workflow. Here we're setting the endpoint path to GPT bulk gen and the HTTP method is set to get. We'll be sending our CSV as a downloadable URL and we'll pass this as a query param. Billship gives us a nice utility node for extracting such parameters from the request. The get query param node expects us to specify the name of the query param. In this case, we're setting it to CSV underscore URL and we're also marking it as required. Now that we have access to the download URL of the CSV, we can download it. The download CSV node takes as input the URL and downloads the entire contents of the CSV and returns it as an array. Here we're setting the CSV URL input to the value returned from the get query param node. Now we can easily preview the response of this node by using Billship's testing feature. We can select the play button, enter the CSV URL, and run the node. And as you can see, we get back an array of cities. Great. Before we get to the crux of the workflow, we are generating a unique file name. Later in the workflow, when we're saving the GBT generated content, we'll be using this for the file name. We want unique file names so we don't override any existing files. Now on to the interesting part. The next thing we want to do is iterate through all the cities and for each city, generate the three-day itinerary using GPT-4 and then save it to file. Here we're using the loop node and for the items we want to loop over, we're using the array of cities returned from the download CSV node. The first thing we want to do in the loop is to extract the value of the city field. If you recall, the download CSV node returns an array of cities where each item has a city key that maps to a particular city. In the extract key value node, we want to extract the value of the city key from the current item we're looping over. And now that we have access to the current city, we can generate its three day travel itinerary using GPT. For this, we'll be using the GPT text generator node. This is just one of the many OpenAI integration nodes that Billship provides. Take a look at the OpenAI group in the nodes library for the full list. The first thing you'll need to configure here is your OpenAI API key. Here we'll just select an existing one, but if you don't already have one, then you can easily create a new one by going to add secret. Okay, so in the system prompt, we're instructing the model to return a three day travel itinerary for the specified city in JSON format. And for the user prompt, we're passing in the current city that we get from the value returned from the extract key value node. Now let's preview the response for New York City. We'll run the node. And as you can see, we are getting back the three day travel itinerary in JSON format. 
So far, so good. Great. We're now at the final step in the loop. We want to append the three day itinerary we generated to a JSON file. Here we're using the append array to JSON file node. For the file path, we're using the unique name we previously generated along with a JSON extension. Next, we specify the data we want to append to the file. So we want the CSV file to contain four columns. The first for the city name and the other three columns for the individual days of the travel itinerary. And that's the end of the loop. These steps will be repeated for each entry in the given CSV file. We're almost at the end of the workflow. Now we have a file with our bulk generated content. But notice how we save this file in JSON format. What we really want is a CSV file. So let's see how we can take the contents of this file and convert it back into a CSV format. First, we need to read the file and return its contents. The path of the file we want to read is the same file path we are using in the append array to JSON node. After that, we can use the utility JSON to CSV node that Billship provides. This node creates a CSV file from an array of JSON objects, stores it in the GCP storage bucket, and returns the public download URL. In our case, we are taking the cities array returned from the read file node and converting it to a CSV file. Finally, we return the download URL of our newly created CSV file. We're getting the download URL from the JSON to CSV node. We're expecting the CSV file to contain the bulk GBT generated travel itineraries. Let's go ahead and ship. And after just a few seconds, our workflow is live and available for public access. Let's put it to the test. We've seen how to test the individual nodes in our workflow, but Billship also gives us the ability to test the entire workflow. To begin, we'll select the test button at the top and we'll enter the required CSV URL query parameter. And for the value, we'll paste the download URL of a CSV file that contains 200 of the world's most popular city. This will run through each node in our workflow using the given CSV URL that we specified. For each city in the CSV, it will generate a three-day travel itinerary using GPT, write it to a file, and we expect the final output to be the download URL of the new newly created CSV file. This can take a number of minutes to complete depending on the size and scale of the CSV file you are processing. This is good. As you can see, the final output of our workflow is the download URL of the newly generated CSV file. Now let's download this file and see if our workflow actually works. And it works like a charm. We've used GPT to generate the three-day travel itinerary for each city in bulk saving us the hassle of entering each city individually. And just like that, we've saved precious time. This is just one of the many use cases for generating GPT-based content in bulk. And the great part is that you can easily customize this workflow to instead generate articles, summarizations, or even combine multiple OpenAI nodes to generate not only text, but images or audio as well. It's important to mention that this workflow works well for CSV files with a few hundred rows, but isn't ideal for larger files with thousands of rows. In part two, we'll show you how Buildship can easily manage much bigger tasks, even with hundreds of thousands of rows, to provide a limitless bulk generation experience. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified about this video and all our future content. Don't miss out. That's it for now. See you in the next one.